Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now my portfolio is worth $91,615.05. In the past year I am up $16,470.09. Year to date for the year 2024, I am down $307.05. Today was a really, really red day. As you can see, I lost a ton of money. During the day, I lost $9,775.93. And after hours, I am down $199.73. So overall, about $10,000 down today. That's a huge amount to lose in one single day. Now, they're not realized losses because I haven't sold my positions. However, it's a lot of money to be down $10,000 in one single day. And that's what happened to me today in my portfolio. Let's go over my positions. My options, I'm selling Disney $90 puts. These expire August 9th. My total return, I am down $53. I'm selling PayPal $65 covered calls. These expire August 9th. My total return $444. I'm selling SoFi $6.5 puts. These expire August 9th. My total return $18. I'm selling Google $210 covered calls. These expire December 20th. My total return, $718. I have McDonald's, $210, $200 put credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, $810. I have McDonald's, $300, $310 call credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, I am down $1,540. I have Verizon $35, $33 put credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, $1,253. I have Verizon $47, $49 call credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, zero. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $167.75. My average cost, $98.95. My total return, $20,643.17. I have 6,000 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $6.64. My average cost, $5.62. My total return, $6,100.80. I have 300 shares of Disney. Disney is at $89.52. My average cost, $60. My total return, $8,856. I have 100 shares of Google. Google is at $166.30. My average cost, $142.48. My total return, $2,382. I have 200 shares of PayPal. PayPal is at $61.83. My average cost, $57.70. My total return, $826. This is a margin account. My margin total is $89,275.47. My margin used is $50,383.41. My options collateral is $32,900. This leaves me with $5,992.06 in buying power. My margin status is low risk. 
my buffer is $24,386.97. This is how much money I can lose before I get margin called. My annual interest rate is 6.55%. The daily interest that I'm paying is $9.17. And I'm borrowing $1,000 interest free. So as you can see, I lost $10,000 today. And I could have bought so many things with that money if I had just sold everything. But it is what it is. I mean, there's no way that I knew ahead of time that my portfolio would go down by this much in a single day. So I simply didn't know any better that it would go down by this much or else I would have played it safer. But wow. So the biggest loser in my portfolio today is Amazon. Amazon is down 8.82% during the day. And then after hours, it's down another 0.05%. So about 9% today. And Amazon makes up a huge portion of my portfolio. I have 300 shares of Amazon. As you can see, if we scroll down here, my market value for my Amazon shares is around $50,000. And today's return, I was down $4,896.66 for my Amazon shares today. So down about $5,000 because of my Amazon shares going down by about 9%. The other biggest loser in my portfolio is SoFi. As you can see, SoFi was down 7.03% during the day. And after hours, it's down another 0.25%. So a little over 7% in one single day. And this also makes up a big portion of my portfolio. If we scroll down here, as you can see, total market value, $39,840. So I have about $40,000 in SoFi shares. I have 6,000 shares of SoFi. And today's return, I am down $3,120 from my SoFi shares today because it went down over 7% today. So those are the biggest reasons why my portfolio is down so much today. Of course, my other positions are down too. PayPal, Google, Disney, the, everything is red in my portfolio today everything um, except a couple things that I have my spreads in funny enough I don't have shares in McDonald's but McDonald's was actually not red today it was green look at this McDonald's up 2.96 percent today and I don't have shares I only have spreads so I have my $210 $200 put credit spreads and my call credit spreads as well Verizon, something else that was not red today, this was actually up 0.27% during the day and it was down 0.17% after hours, but overall still green today, unlike my other positions where I own hundreds of shares. Oh my goodness. So because my big positions in my portfolio went down by so much, that's why I lost $10,000 in one single day today. I'm going to have to, <laughs> I'm going to have to spend less money, I guess, uh, eat some ramen noodles, um, really pinch the pennies, but dang, I, I could have bought like a new purple mattress. I could have bought a used car <laughs> with $10,000. I could have bought a new washing machine, whatever. There are a lot of things that you can buy with 10,000, but yeah. That money's gone now. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm down $10,000 in one day. And now I'm going to have to figure out how do I recover from here? So coming up, there are a few positions that are expiring next week, the 9th. So my Disney $90 puts, PayPal $65 covered calls, and SoFi $6.5 uh, puts. So these positions expire on the 9th next Friday. So hopefully things go well and I gain a little bit of money from the premium after they expire. And then I'll have to decide what to do from there. I don't have a ton of buying power right now. $5,992.06. So around $6,000 in buying power. Once some of these positions get freed up, 
I'll have to decide what to do with my freed up cash. So we'll see what happens. I'll keep on making more updates and I'll let you guys know what happens, you know, next week and the time after that. I'll keep on making more of these updates. But for now, that's pretty much it. That's all I have to say. Down over $10,000 in one single day. Very painful. Anyways, if you guys like this type of content and you guys want to keep, you know, watching and seeing more of this, please make sure to like and subscribe and I'll keep on making more of these videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.